What's wrong with Mr. Potato? Why do all characters fall down when they laugh? These are just some of the unanswered questions we have about Peppa Pig. And in this video, we're going to look at some mysterious things in Peppa Pig that we need answers to. So the first question we have is, why do all the characters fall down when they laugh? Can you imagine if this happened in real life? Everyone falling down while laughing. Everyone would be walking around wearing a knee pad and a helmet. But seriously, why do they fall down when they laugh? We need to know this. Is Madame Gazelle a vampire? In the episode Pumpkin Party, Madame Gazelle strangely did not have a reflection in the mirror, which was even noticed by the narrator. She also stated in this episode that Susie's vampire costume reminded her of the olden days. This caused people to theorize that Madame Gazelle was a vampire. Also, in the episode Madame Gazelle's House, there is an old Christmas tree next to Madame Gazelle's house, causing it to be wonky. When Mr. Bull climbs the tree to check if there are any living beings, he finds bats. Madame Gazelle says that her friends, the bats, have reminded her of the old days. Also, since the Christmas tree is very large, and Madame Gazelle had owned it since it was a little tree, this implies that Madame Gazelle could be immortal. These two episodes have spooked people out and show in a subtle way that the Peppa Pig franchise is darker than we may have expected, and that there is indeed a backstory. Moving on, Mr. Fox is one of the most suspicious characters in Peppa Pig. In one of the episodes where Grandpa Pig puts his chickens to sleep, he mentions that some animals eat at night. And when he turns to the side, Mr. Fox simply appears out of nowhere. That's really suspicious. As we all know, foxes are notorious for attacking the farms during nighttime. So, Mr. Fox wandering around the chicken coop at night might be hinting at something. Similarly, in the episode The Police Station, we see some posters outside the police station. In the poster, we can see fox symbols, one on each side. This might mean that Mr. Fox is wanted by the police because in his shop, all his items have his sticker, which closely resembles what's on the poster. This all looks very interesting despite this being funny. It might be proof that he is indeed a professional thief. And even funnier thing about all this is that we see little Freddy has a natural inclination to be a policeman. When Peppa and Susie are talking about the future and we see what seems to be the girl's imagination showing them years ahead, they pass by adult Freddy and he's already a policeman. Maybe Freddy will arrest Mr. Fox in the future. Who knows? But one thing is sure, there's something fishy going on with Mr. Fox. In one of the episodes, the whole family is watching Mr. Potato on television. Mr. Potato is doing an exercise program. So in Peppa Pig's world, a potato is apparently a symbol for physical fitness. But here's where it gets really bizarre. Mr. Potato encourages his viewers to eat a healthy diet, which includes a lot of fruits and vegetables. Mr. Potato knows he's a vegetable, right? So is this a talking animal in a costume? Or does Mr. Potato have the distinction of being the only ginormous living vegetable in this place? Pretty weird, isn't it? Now, let's talk about one of the most disturbing questions about Peppa Pig. In the episode, The Fire Engine, we see Daddy Pig and his soccer team meeting for a barbecue. When we look at the characters in the barbecue, we can see that there is a zebra, a rabbit, and a pony who are vegetarians. But besides them, we also have Mr. Bull and Mr. Pig at this barbecue and the two represent the two largest groups of meats used in barbecues worldwide, beef and pork. So, what kind of barbecue can a group of animals like this make? It's really disturbing to think about, isn't it? Anyone who's watched the show has surely noticed that the ground shakes when Daddy Pig jumps up and down, and no one seems to notice all these little earthquakes. Okay, we know the characters are pigs, but maybe Daddy Pig should go on the Mr. Potato diet and slim down a bit, He's going to wreck the whole town if he keeps it up. As we know, Peppa is the elder sister of George, and George is clearly a lot younger than Peppa, but they're in the same class at school. That's a bit odd, don't you think? Maybe Georgie is exceptionally gifted and way ahead of the rest of his grade at school. He seems to be able to do all the things Peppa can do in class, so it's possible that he's a little piggy genius. Another theory is that Peppa has some sort of learning disability and she's being held back a few grades. The show doesn't explicitly clarify this, leaving it open to interpretation. All the animal families live in houses on top of huge hills. The creators of the show said they drew the houses this way because they're supposed to resemble a kid's drawings. They wanted to make the show from a kid's point of view 
and they just thought it would be funny to make the houses on top of super steep hills. But not everyone has a house on a hill. The rabbit family lives in a burrow inside a hill. When the rabbit kids come to Peppa's house, little Richard Rabbit cries because he's scared of the stairs. Rebecca Rabbit explains that they don't have stairs in their house. The next day, when Peppa and Georgie come over to the rabbit house for a playdate, they are surprised to find out that the rabbit family lives underground. They have to crawl through a dirt tunnel to get to their bedroom, and apparently all they can afford to eat are carrots, which they claim to love. So why is the rabbit family literally dirt poor? Is this town prejudiced against rabbits? This is kind of messed up. And talking about rabbit, let's discuss about Miss Rabbit's jobs. Why does she work so many jobs? Apparently, Miss Rabbit has been a helicopter pilot, rosary clerk, librarian, bus driver, ice cream merchant, train driver, recycling center operator, and ticket booth attendant. So, what's in those carrots? How is she able to do all those jobs? Some viewers think she might have cloned herself. And some think this sends a message about being single versus being married. Or maybe Miss Rabbit is a workaholic to compensate for her deep feelings of oppressive sadness at the fact that she's forced to live underground in a burrow while everyone else gets a house on a hill. We're just speculating here. But it seems the system is rigged against the rabbits. One of the weirdest things about the show is that some of the animals are just normal animals, like the ducks at the park and their goldfish. Meanwhile, Peppa Pig and her friends and family all talk and have human qualities. Why is that? Why do some animals behave like humans and some behaves just like a normal animal? It's almost as confusing as that talking potato. Another unanswered question in Peppa Pig's cartoon that surely intrigues a lot is how do the animals that would be predators feed in the world of Peppa Pig? For example, in the episode where George gets sick and the family calls Dr. Bear, and as we all know, bears are one of nature's biggest carnivores. In this case, a house full of cute and succulent little pigs would be quite an opportunity for him. But of course, he is just a doctor and went to the pig family's house just to say what everyone already knew, that George was cold. Besides Dr. Bear, we see that Daddy Pig was responsible for designing a house where a family of wolves would live. And in this episode, we even had a quick reference to the story of the three little pigs. Remembering that in it, the intention of the wolf was to eat the three little brothers for dinner. Besides these two, we can't forget about the lion and the crocodile who work at the zoo in Pepper City. We noticed that among all, the only person who was frightened by these ferocious animals was Madame Gazelle. So, the question is, what do they eat on a daily basis? After all, is it vegetables? But if they only eat vegetables and fruits, if they eat Mr. Potato or the blueberry, will they become carnivores again? Seriously, this show can be confusing sometimes. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. And as always, we'll see you all in the next video.